Okay, Grandpa. I agreed, resolving to limit my visits to once every century or so. I think I need to get back home to study. Sure, he scoffed and threw up his hands. Now, while you are with me, you want to study. Why don't you study when you are not visiting me? How many times more will you be visiting me? Do I look like I'm getting any younger? It was right about then that someone in the card room began to scream. Fortunately, Oy vey, someone is dying, Grandpa said, and doing a not-so-quick pirouette, we headed back inside to find an old guy sprawled on the floor among a scattered deck of cards. He had been calmly playing solitaire when he apparently keeled over. The nurse set down her book and pushed the crowd of old ladies out of the way. She knelt beside the old guy. Murray! Murray? She called loudly, slapping his cheek. Murray, can you hear me? Murray, can you hear me? Murray, can you hear me? No, of course he can't hear you, one of the old ladies announced loudly. He's dead. Poor Murray. Tonight is his favorite, turkey with mashed potatoes. Oh, someone call a doctor. A lady at another card table said, while still holding a fan of cards in front of her. Lou is a doctor. Check out Murray, Lou. Lou is a gynecologist. Murray doesn't have the parts that Lou knows how to check. I remember my old gynecologist. His name was Hiram. He had the softest hands. Oh, my. Nobody cares, Ethel. Jerry, Grandpa Lou nudged me hard in the ribs. You get down there and check out Murray. You know CPR, right? Um, I guess so. I knelt down next to the nurse who was still yelling at Murray and slapping his face. Murray. Move over, sweetheart, Lou ordered. My grandson here is pre-med. Let the boy take charge. The home's liability insurance won't cover you anyway. To my surprise, the nurse shrugged and moved out of the way, leaving me with dead Murray. Go, go, Grandpa urged. Time is of the essence here. Okay, I mumbled under my breath, and recalling everything I could from my first aid merit badge, I began compressions on Murray's chest. The old folks around me cheered as I counted. One, two, three. One, two, three. Come on, Murray. Breathe. It was hard work. I was in a sweat, and my glasses had slipped completely off my nose and were now dangling near Murray's chin. It worked, though. Even before the paramedics arrived, Murray gasped and coughed. He opened his eyes and said, Who the hell are you? This is Dr. Waldman, Lou announced, taking another swig from his vest. At that point, I sat back and let my aching arms have a rest. Your son-in-law, the cardiologist, Ethel yelled from the card table. He looks so young. Of course, everybody looks so young these days. <laughs> my grandson. Lou clapped me on the back and then helped me to my feet as the paramedics began to load Murray up and take him away. Murray was none too happy about this, as it meant missing turkey night at the home. You see, Jerry, Lou continued, you've got the healing touch, too. You just saved old Murray's life, such as it is, and it looks like there is no brain damage. Although with Murray, it's hard to tell. I went back to school that night and changed my schedule for the next semester. Chemistry, physics, and math replaced advanced rocks and dinosaurs. I kept concert season two just because I needed an easy A. For the next few years, I muddled through school, graduating with a halfway decent GPA. I got admitted into Robert Wood Johnson Med School, my cousin Michael's alma mater, and then graduated four years later with enough debt to last me a lifetime. At a starting physician's salary, I figured it would take me about, oh, 40 years just to pay off my student loans. When I wandered by a Space Force recruiting office on the way to Starbucks one day, I happened to glance in their window at a sign advertising complete tuition reimbursement. Well... Somehow, I found my feet leading me inside, and somehow I found my hand, signing with a pen. I never got that ice mocha frappuccino and whoopie pie I was going for. Instead, I got a whole new career. Two months later, I was commissioned as a lieutenant with orders to begin my postgraduate work at a Space Force hospital on Space Base 31 in the Altarian Sector. I was issued a goofy blue spandex uniform with one stripe on my sleeve 